So it's looking like Deontay Wilder might have one last shot for redemption in the heavyweight division. Um, this is coming off of the tale of being actually removed, bruh, from um, the ranking system uh, and the WBA because um, I'm assuming that he was already removed from the uh, WBC like in December. All right, he was already removed in December from the WBC. And so um, it was a scenario that played out where he was removed from the WBA um, just recently. And uh, I guess something took place because he was voted out, if you guys are reading this um, writing. It says uh, the, the WBA um, writing uh, committee uh, members seemingly voted the Tuscaloosa native out uh, of his voluntary top 15 spot. Uh, however, after admitting a mistake, Wilder was reinstated with an apology, bro. So um, it looked like he has one less, uh, one more shot. I mean, um, with a guy by the name of Mamal Char, who is the uh, regular WBA championship holder, this will give Deontay Wilder an opportunity to um, reinstate himself in the heavyweight division and maybe go after the AJ fight. Um, but this is coming on if Mamal Char decides to take the fight with um, Deontay Wilder. But why not? Right? Why would Char decide not to take a fight with a top tier guy like Deontay Wilder? Get a nice, decent payday. I, I can't say it'll be the biggest of paydays, right? Um, because it's not going to be a fight that people are going to really be interested in seeing. But it is a fight, uh, nonetheless, where if Mamal Char can defeat Deontay Wilder, he becomes a legitimate name to at least be a part of the uh, second-tier guys uh, in the heavyweight division. I think about your uh, F.A. Ajagbas, your uh, Frank Sanchez's, um, your Martin Bacoli's, uh, to a certain degree, right? Those gentlemen, they are right at the show. they just not on the stage yet they there right they're in the dressing room they warming up they just haven't made it to the ring yet and so my mild chart defeating the likes of what most could deem to be damaged goods right i'm not saying that he is man no disrespect to deontay wilder but uh what most could see or deem as damaged goods if Mamal Char can go in and destroy Deontay Wilder or at least get it on the on the point system, right? Um, yeah, that puts his name into the hat to get bigger fights, maybe get one of the bigger promotion companies to come after him to get him in writing. And bruh, you can get a, a really good fight. And not only that, but he de dethrones Deontay Wilder. Right? So it's a scenario where it is beneficial for him to take the fight, but will he take it? That's up to him, right? Saying that to say, uh, I've been seeing so much about Deontay Wilder, and I've just been keeping my mouth closed, bro. Um, to a certain degree, uh, I don't like kicking nobody while they down. That's just me, you know. I, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, usually, uh, after I uh, do my pr uh, prediction show, I usually get off of it, right? Depending on who won, unless it's a robbery, bro. Like unless it's a robbery. I might not say nothing that's about the fight until the next time I talk about that person, right? Unless it's a robbery. Because I don't like kicking nobody while they down. Uh, saying that to say, for Deontay Wilder, man, it's just been, first and foremost, the excuse of his legs again, right? Uh, from the Joseph Parker scenario, the excuse of his legs again, bruh. And it's kind of like, Deontay, just don't make an excuse, bruh. Like, no offense to him, bruh. It could be his legs, but just say, bruh, he was the better man that night. And, and come off as uh, uh, gracious in victory and then gracious in defeat, right? Humble in victory, humble in defeat, even though you're far from humble, bro. But it just it is what it is, right? Uh, coming off as, you know, still presentable uh, in defeat as well as in uh, victory. Um, but also, man, a lot of people are wondering if he even wants to do this anymore, when it comes to Deontay Wilder, excuse me, <clears throat> I heard uh, one of his sparring partners or just another fighter who was in the gym uh, with Deontay Wilder stating that Deontay Wilder is not there no more. Like the, the, the bronze bomber has left the building 
and we're just looking at uh, what used to be the bronze bomber which happens to a lot of people man you gotta think about it to a certain degree uh being undefeated for a long time in your career uh depending on that right fist to uh really dismantle opponents and knock them out right um most of us never got a knockout some of us have several fights never got a knockout bruh never knocked somebody completely out and then you get Deontay Wilder who probably had that same scenario playing out in his life right having several fights growing up and then getting into the sport of boxing where he actually learned how to use his fist and then he started seeing everybody fall was a hundred percent knockout uh, at a hundred percent knockout ratio for a good little while right 98 percent because I think only one guy had went the distance with him at, uh, and to the point where he seen Tyson Fury right knocking out Luis King Kong Ortiz who most could deem as a very dangerous opponent, right? Stepping into the ring with Tyson Fury the first fight and having a draw, right? So to a certain degree, bro, realizing your mortality, like realizing that the show might be over for that right fist, right? It, it might not knock nobody else out ever, right? It, it did knock out Robert Hellenius, but that was the last guy. That was the last guy um, to, to, to taste defeat by Deontay Wilder. Um, yeah, maybe he, he just fit in the sting of not being that guy no more. And uh, maybe he do need to sit out a little bit. Do I think that Deontay Wilder can come back and make it happen? Yeah, but I think I think it's really the activity. That's just me. Like, y'all can take it with a grain of salt. Um, I got extra time, so I'm going to do my talking, right? Um, I just think it's inactivity, right? I think if he would fight more fight more even if it's somebody that we don't want to see bro um the thing is is that you was hungry coming into the game you're not hungry no more all right you ain't hungry no more and i'm not meaning that in the notion of finances and money is concerned like i'm pretty sure you haven't been hungry for, for a long ass time right but we're talking about as far as getting that fight they couldn't bring a contract to that table bro and you didn't sign it that man, well, Deontay, we got this guy for you. All right, I'm good. I'm ready. I want. I'm ready to go fight. I want to go fight. Like that's what it boils down to. And, and then all of 2023, and I don't know if this has anything to do with Malik Scott. If it had anything to do with um uh what's our buddy name? Can't think of his name right now. Uh, it's kind of like your manager, um Shelly Finkel. I don't know if it had anything to do with Finkel. If it had to do anything with uh Malik Scott, but to a certain degree, you hanging back. They got you hanging back. And, and in this superstar celebrity mode where you didn't even want to take a fight in 2023 until you seen Anthony Joshua, right? A reasonable nine. You could have gave Andy that fight, right? You could have gave him that fight. I, I bet you the bronze bomber would have. The bronze bomber probably been want to fight uh, uh, Andy Ruiz. I don't know if Deontay Wilder want to fight him. Right, you could have fought anybody. You could have fought him a mild char back in 2023. Nobody would have cared, bro. Uh, we watched uh, Anthony Joshua do the same. He just he just taking on the smallest of fights that he could possibly take on. <clears throat> excuse me, to rebuild himself back into the stage. And I feel like you're not really doing that to a certain degree. So if it's anything, right, is his heart still there? I do think his heart still there. I just think that he's out of out of practice on the big stage he's out of practice in the ring he got to get into that ring he got to have some fights he got to have somebody in there that want to knock his head off his shoulder and get angry and get aggressive but if it's a scenario where he don't want to do it no more then Deontay Wilder do need to have a seat bro before he get into the ring with somebody who's going to be um hungry as hell who's starving like he used to starve right and then they knock his head off his shoulders and knock him out um, because, you know, that's how he was. When he came in the door, he was knocking people out. And, you know, they always say you reap what you sow to a certain degree. I'm not wishing that on him, and I'm knocking on wood as I say this. But, uh, yeah, in the same instance, it's kind of like, bro, if you don't really want to do this no more, bro, don't, don't put it on the show for us, bro. Just go ahead and bow out gracefully. I'm pretty sure the Hall of Fame will be calling your name really, really soon. Not sure, not 100% sure, but, bro, it's only three L's in your career so it is what it is man this is the rth podcast i'm your host nephew and i'm signing out deontay wilder has one last chance with the wba he can grab that black wba belt become the regular champion maybe looking forward to i would say daniel dubois i think that's the route that the wba will be going daniel dubois yeah 
So uh, if he were to get that uh, W over Mamal Char, the top of that hill would be Daniel Dubois, which would be a crazy fight. To defeat Daniel Dubois right now, which, which would be a crazy fight for the likes of Deontay Wilder, to defeat Daniel Dubois could definitely put him right back into the show um, and at least um, solidify him for an uh, Anthony Joshua fight if uh, they can get it in writing this time around. But again, this is the RTH Podcast. Your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, uh, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No mods here, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.